Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today, I'll show you how I make my soft jaws. Um, I usually just use uh, six inch aluminum soft jaws, uh, one by two inches, one inch depth, two inches tall. And today, I'll show you how to make soft jaws for a five inch diameter part. So, let's get going. Okay, first, we are going to design our soft jaws and I just design it as one solid piece because that's way easier when it comes to making your tool paths so we'll start by going six by six extrude up about an inch Then we're going to sketch on this side face. Over about an inch. Down about 950. That should work. Okay, hit enter. Now go over four inches. Now we'll go back up 950,000. Okay, we'll hit finish sketch, and now we're going to extrude out this middle part. So it looks like something that resembles what's in our machine. Extrude a little bit more. Okay, so this is looking a little more like a pair of soft jaws and a vise but we need to bring our soft jaws up a little bit because the standard soft jaws are about two inches tall okay up one inch there we go now that's looking more like it two aluminum soft jaws six inches long two inches tall one inch thick okay next we're going to design the pocket for our five inch diameter round part. We're gonna snap to the middle, go over three inches, and we'll make a five inch diameter circle. Hit enter. Now we will extrude one side at a time. We'll select those two faces right there, extrude, go down about a half inch, that should give us a nice grip. Okay, now back to sketch, we're on the other jaw, snap to the middle, go over three inches, hit enter, five inch diameter circle, now back to extrusion, after we select those two faces, down about 500,000. Okay, so that looks like something that would work great for us. So, next we'll have to add some tool paths. We need to set the part up first. We'll set, set the stock at zero. Back to setup. Selected point. We'll select that point because that's the easiest to touch off in the machine. Make sure X, Y, and Z are all facing the right direction. Flip X. That looks good. Next, some tool paths. And we're just going to do simple contours for this one. One jaw at a time. Okay, we'll make a tool. Flat end mill. Half inch.
And we'll add some passes, some roughing passes. About 200 thou, about three of them, just so it makes sure, just so we make sure we clean that up. And we'll leave some stock so we can finish, so we can get a good finish with another toolpath. About four thou on the wall and four thou on the bottom. Okay, that looks good. Next, we are going to select the other pocket. There we go. Hit OK. Looks like it's roughing out just fine. Okay, now we need to add some speeds and feeds. About 1,000 service feet. And the website we use is easyspeedsandfeeds.com. Type in our info, pretty simple. Okay, so 90 inches a minute, about 76 RPM, 7600 RPM. Type in our speeds and feeds real quick. Okay, that should work. Next, we are going to duplicate this tool, and all we're going to do is get rid of the stock to leave. And that will make the tool go down four more thou lower in Z, and then four thou over in Y, which will clean up the bottom face and the side. Go down to stock to leave, get rid of that. On some wear comp just in case we need to open up our circle a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Next, we will do a little bit of chamfering just so as we slide our five inch diameter part into our jaws, it doesn't get hung up on any sharp edges. Okay, click on that, click it again, click open contour, accept it. Now we're going to navigate to the other pocket and do the same thing. It wants to select the whole jaw, but we don't need to deburr the whole jaw, just where we used our end mill. Okay. That looks good. Next, create a tool. After we adjust our chamfer width, we'll go about 20 thou. We don't need that big of a chamfer. Okay, create a tool. Chamfer mill, quarter inch. Tip diameter, about 5 thou. That's pretty standard. Next, we'll add some speeds and feeds. We'll turn our surface foot feet down a little bit because our spindle we're using for this particular job can only go about 7,500. So, we'll use about 500 surface feet. Change some of this info around. There we go, 7,600 RPM, 45 inches a minute. Sounds about right. Typed in our speeds and feeds. Toolpath looks good. Okay, so that's looking good. Next, we're just going to run it in simulation. We're going to turn the stock off. There we go. So here's our roughing end mill, leaving about 4 thou stock on the bottom and on the sides. Okay, 
Here's our finishing end mill. It's going to finish the bottom and finish the side. So we'll get a nice accurate 5 inches in diameter. So our part will slide in there better. Okay. Next, chamfer mill. Chamfer mill. Looks good. That is a simple way to make some soft jaws for a mill. Um, tell me, guys, uh, what you think about the video. And uh, tell me what you want to see. And uh, be on the lookout. Thanks.